Alright everyone, it is me, Judson Chan, and uh, I actually forgot to refresh everything here. So let's go do that real quick. So hopefully everyone's had a very nice uh, weekend. Uh, game's pretty much done. Uh, I'm, making, I'm making a couple minor tweaks. Still one odd bug, too, I found in the game, but it seems pretty rare. I think it's only caused because of the way I designed the level. So I just simply avoid the bug by just simply <laughs> shifting the enemy unit's uh, spawn point on the, the last map. So, uh, yeah, so I did my screenshots yesterday. Today I think I'll be working on the trailer. And then I upload it on Steam, and then that'll be that. Right? And then this tomorrow will be the election. And then next week I actually need to start. I didn't realize, like, yeah, Thanksgiving's coming up. So I got to start visiting family. And I also got to forgive, tell mom and dad I forgive them. The problem is I don't actually speak Chinese, so I have to like use Google Translate but, and hope that my dad will kind of not botch the whole thing. Of course, I'll know for sure if he did not botch it if my mom like starts reacting like all cr bad shit crazy. Yeah. But uh, yeah, and uh, yes, I also was doing more research on trademark shit, so I should actually be all right because there's something called. Um, descriptive fair use in trademarks so you know and i just remembered that i actually have fought billion dollar companies before are trying to sue me for stupid shit the first one was uh was by blizzard when they tried to take down my uh i used to run a world of warcraft gold guide website so blizzard like made up some bullshit charge to deplatform the thing through my domain say like i'm hosting illegal like files that are property of blizzard or some bullshit and i replied that it was false and then i also gave him a legal response ish um that basically said uh that cited brian cop versus blizzard and then we overwhelmingly uh, it was an overwhelming victory for brian because it's an educational fair use kind of thing so uh yeah i never heard from blizzard again Second one was Bank of America. I might have told this story before. I'm not going to go over it again. But basically, I had to hire a lawyer for the first credit card debt. And then the second one, I because I forgot I had two credit cards. So they tried to send me a note to collect on the second one, and I just simply didn't pay it. Right? Instead, what I did was I drained my bank account. Cause I, uh, so that they, because by law, I don't think they can take money out of you, or out of your account. I don't know what the amount is, but I know it has to be, like, if they, because they want to, like, 2500 2200 or 3000 bucks or something like that or 3200 i don't actually remember but if they take out that much through default judgment and then i actually literally cannot live so like you know pay bills and stuff so you know bank america so i made sure to go, I, I think i made sure i was below like around the three to five k range and then after that the seven year uh statute of limitations here in new york uh expired so they had to discharge the debt and i had to declare it as income on my taxes that year uh which is funny because i didn't really have any i was living with my mom and dad at the time and that's also around the time i started making my movies so you know uh yeah you know f the banks they get a bailout but i didn't get a bailout i had to pay i had to actually pay everything so it was like bullshit i got like i got completely ass raped by um <clears throat> by these assholes you know so and now we're dealing with trademark stuff, but I think for the most part, the word Aeon is used a lot too, so I think we'll be pretty good, um, but we'll see. You know, as long, That's why I'm still not mentioning this uh, corporation, so that like when I... It's pretty obvious to me that this my game will be quite successful, so it's just a matter of how successful can uh, will it be. And I, I bet a lot of people will actually buy the soundtrack just to support me, but they also probably will like the music too. So, you know, because it invokes... Uh, yeah, I didn't make it. I just bought a music pack and then like I had to like, you know, put together like, you know, something that would add to the sci-fi feel to it. You know, then of course I also used my movie filmmaking magic too to make sure because like there's a lot that actually goes into music. You know, it's not just put on some something at random, you know, like uh, like a really good uh, musical piece is the I'm not going to play it, but the new Wonder Woman. Actually, did the movie come out? Wonder Woman, nineteen eighty four. Uh, is this movie out? Uh, here we go. Release date, August thirteenth, twenty twenty, in Brazil. Oh. Okay. Uh, we'll try to avoid any spoilers, even though I'm probably not going to watch because I wa I'm not going to watch in the movie theater. 
uh, delayed again. Yeah, that gets. Yeah, because they need to reopen the economy so that like they don't lose all the money. Really, Hans Zimmer composed it, but the guy that made the trailer music uh, was Sebastian something or whatever Blue Monday or whatever they called themselves. But yeah, I really liked that musical too. I mean, I don't want to give too much away, but I'm definitely going to use that kind of style of music. Because I really like the 80s, but I always felt there was something that you need to mix in or add or fuse with the 80s to make it more modern. So the 1984 music piece, trailer music is exactly what I want. So that will... Okay, I don't want to give it away for my, for my storyline. So, But it's very good. It's very good. That's why it's important to you know uh, listen to different points of view. That's how you have developed creativity. All right, anyway, uh, yeah, let's just start diving into it before I go off of my rambles. Um, all right, so Bitcoin searches for last week have increased to 14, so I suspect this will continue to increase, especially once this stupid election is over. Uh, and we'll definitely get into that. Um, uh, yeah, not running anything. All right, so it looks like Bitcoin and crypto have gone down a bit. So I'm assuming people are just kind of getting a little nervous and hedging their bets because obviously they don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Uh, even though the markets are up a lot today. Uh, excuse me. I didn't even eat anything yet. You know, I've been up for a couple hours and I just drank water, which I need to drink more of. And for some reason, I still have to burp. <clears throat> So yeah, this is coming off of like a lot of losses last week, essentially. So this makes sense. Uh, well, that being said, there's still a lot of uncertainty on the market. So, <coughs> uh, trying to put more oil is glut pressure prices. Actually, I am curious to read what this is. Uh, I don't really hear too much about China on Yahoo Finance. I assume China has some kind of hand in Yahoo. So. Uh, do, 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 do. global shares boosted by stronger China factory data, right? Because they did not close their economy like we did, but also China is not run by uh, the tribe that controls the West currently. So, you know, Google ad costs, not its alleged monopoly irks businesses. Well, okay. Like these shills for like big tech really pissed me off. Well, I'm not angry anymore, but it's like, this is just fake news terrorism shit. Yes, the costs are high because they have a fucking monopoly. It's like, if people will read this shit and just believe everything they say, that's the most irritating part. Uh, no options. Ah, oh, really, I really don't want to have to use Ledger X, but it looks like we're going to have to use Ledger X. I'm not even sure it's going to be usable because the option costs are so ridiculously expensive. But I mean, if Bitcoin's like 500k or a million dollars, I mean, then, you know, at that scale, like buying something that's 50 to 100,000, I mean, I'm not even sure Ledger X will even have a put option um, that low. But we definitely have to basically do what I wanted to do back in 2007 or 2008. Like, I remember I on Friday, I really wish I could have bought like $10, $20 put options on Bear Stearns for really cheap it was like you know five cents zero to five cents and i would have made like you know 30 40 50 grand as a college student you know I, but i guess the reason why is because then i would have probably slept with a lot of hot women too at baruch so maybe god didn't want that for me so that's why he had e-trades basically screw me out of all that money by not by basically taking my money and not letting me uh approve the thing until like two three four five months later it was, it was such bullshit you know, like it's uh, like because it was during the crisis. So I assume what they were doing was they were stealing my money to try to keep themselves solvent, and then uh, not pay anyone. So it was just just fucking scam, man. Big fucking scam. But you know, that's just how it goes. Anyway, JFC coins at four to five, so uh, stable as always. Four hundred four, sixty-two to sixty-three, still kind of stable, but eventually it'll go down to supply, of course. 404 is, I mean, 2x2 two two is kind of steady, 4 to 5, but not for long, probably. I assume it will eventually crash, too. Uh, Rix is kind of holding on, right? But even then, eventually, this will tank. It might still be able to maintain 1 to 2, though, so we'll have to see. But for now, it's at 8 to 9. 
Uh, 100 coin, uh, very strong so far, 35.9 of 38.1. So this has been getting progressively stronger and better. So, and guess what? It's fixed supply, so it's never going to go spiral out of control because that was the design idea. Speed coin still continues to have problems though. So it's 43 to 48.6, but that's because speed coin's an actual unique trading symbol. Whereas one uh, has many cryptocurrencies that also have the moniker one so there's definitely a lot of uh uh leeching and synergy going on unlike speedcoin where speedcoin basically is on its own so but anyway, with the game coming out you know my feeder traffic websites that just basically curate content are also gonna they're doing all right especially my gaming feed, a feeder website the gaming feeding website was my biggest surprise that the like video games is definitely the, the way to go uh like I, I that's what i should have always done then i can just piggyback and then do my little shitty political stuff that's probably down the line anyway uh so yeah so we'll uh, we'll be pretty tight but it's gonna be a while it's gonna be a while but for the most part you know speaking of all eventually do uh, a lot better than 100 coin but i mean who knows how long uh it'll be interesting to see what happens when cryptocurrency goes up so, uh, yeah. But so far, you know, crypto's looking pretty good. I just wish Litecoin would be, you know, like when, again, when Litecoin was at 20 grand, 19,500, Litecoin was at 325, 300, 350, right? Depending on the day or hour, I should say. So, I mean, the scale is completely off balance. So, yeah, very irritating. But what are you going to do? Uh, let's see, nothing new on my YouTubes. Uh, let's see, Kevin, I introduce regulations for virtual asset service, bro. I kind of don't really want to read this. I kind of want to just chill and relax, work on my trailer for my game, which won't take me too long, but, uh, Google searches for are on the rise in Cuba. Okay. We definitely want to read that. Um, uh, yeah, I guess we'll read that, but I'm just going to browse the, uh, actually we'll just browse it real quick. Uh, Okay. Yeah, I know the IRS in the United States is really up in Cayman Islands' uh, face about tax evasion and stuff. All right. Uh, well, I imagine it'll still be kind of loose. But we're, okay. China's China coin pilots have processed 300 million so far. It says PBOS. Okay, so China coin's already out. So we definitely want to read that. Get ready for you guys. I'll hide anyone, but no. Um, so I would definitely remember the night. Trump was declared the winner in 2016, November 6th or 8th. I'm pretty sure it was November 8th, 2016. And uh, what happened was crypt crypto, the markets at Forex, everything went down a lot and then it shot back up like, uh, like a day or two later. Actually, it shot back up after Trump gave his uh, conciliatory victory speech. Uh, so uh, everyone was like, "Oh my God, is Trump really gonna be a tyrant?" And it's like, "Oh, he's not. He's just gonna be like everyone else." Okay, yeah, buy buy back up. So uh, it's just, uh, yeah, it's definitely gonna be a chaos. There's a reason why I'm not doing a video tomorrow, especially since everyone's gonna be doing their live stream, and nobody knows who I am. So there's no point in me doing the live stream of the election. Also, I don't know how late I want to stay up tomorrow. So transaction fees explained. You know, to be honest, we have so much. Uh, we already have a lot of uh, articles, so uh, okay. Oof, well, that's pretty funny. Now, who does their artwork? This is so. This is such good artwork, and they always have like unique artwork too. Uh, they definitely know their culture and art. Uh, I do want to listen. Person, don't let them take your vote away. Go to the voting booth and vote early and in person. Don't let them take your vote away. The most important election we've ever had. Thank you. Go to the voting booth and vote early and in person. You know, I deliberately waited until election day because I don't trust early voting. <clears throat> because if I, because what could happen, what I think could happen, I mean, I live in New York, so it doesn't matter. But what I think could happen is I vote early, then I go, oh, my vote counts. And then some asshole comes in, puts in, forges my signature, and then overrides my mail-in vote. And then, you know, 
I, I wouldn't be none the wiser. Now I think that I know I think the point of early voting is also to make sure that that doesn't happen. But I just don't trust the system here so much that you know I'm just gonna go in. You know I'm gonna go in. You know uh, tomorrow. Uh, do, 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 do. Will you remember that Texas? Do, 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 do. Uh, I will correct American energy, American drug. Massive crowds, so that's good. That's what Trump wants to see. So it betray us back, Mary. Now he wants to close your soil, eliminate school, try to attack your Hispanic law enforcement heroes. I'll stand up there, incredible uh, Hispanics. Yes, okay. Blah, 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 blah. All right, so uh, Trump's judge, yeah, so basically Joe Biden and the Democrats are just going to rely, rely on voter fraud. And then there's also the um, the, the self-interest problem, too, because what will fake news terrorists cover once Trump is out of office, right? They're going to they're gonna have nothing to cover. So, and the, their views will go down and stuff, you know. Uh, mortgage forbearances to hires homeowners reactive rate payment deferred. Referral plans. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, more than three million dollars in forbearance. Uh, according to Black Knight Inc., represents a little less than six percent of all active mortgage and six nineteen billion in unpaid principal. Were removed last week. Laws of any uh, were granted in nine weeks. Yeah, I actually finally renewed my lease for another year for my apartment. They gave me very generous terms. Like basically, they just literally kept the rent literally the same. Even though the lease said their legal limit was like ninety bucks higher, because they probably want me to stay rather than lo risk lo greatly risk losing me, right? Because a stable, a stable paying tenant that also has like a lot of money in his bank account is a very valuable tenant, right? Because they obviously have probably access to all my shit. So they're like, oh yeah, we better not piss this guy off. Just 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 give him the same rent, right? So. <laughs> Yeah, you know, the coronavirus, man. Overall, for uh that we're starting up 50% October, so by my reactivations up 50%. Yeah, we were reading the Daily Wire at SU by, uh, by Andrew Wang. You know, he would probably take this as sign. Like, oh, like you know, he does tend to be a little fatalistic, so that's that's the one gripe I would have. Um and yeah, now that I'm becoming a better Christian, like I can clearly see, like, yeah, there's no need for that. That's just that's just Satan talk, just like confusing you. Oh, blah blah blah. Plans will three three sixty five K five will still expire the following is October. You can see again decline back for uh, the next Q three early cares out of the low back like over decided for end of request for bearance. Uh, blah 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 blah. Uh, one million forbearance plans will expire in December, working in the ninth month. Yeah, so if Trump wins. I assume the Democrats are going to do everything they can to fuck everybody over, you know, just out of spite, right? Because just think about what the Democrats did after Trump won in 2016. So, uh, so I'm hoping people aren't stupid enough to like overwhelmingly vote Democrat, but we'll have to we'll have to see, we'll have to see. Like if if uh, and I don't mean just Trump and Biden. I mean like down ballot, right? Obviously, blue areas and red areas will vote in their respective places but it's the swing states and really just some places that might lean left or lean right that will go overwhelmingly right just to end the lockdown because people are getting fed up with it um yep all right yeah so this was like eh, not that really that much let's see try and pour more oil uh you know what do i really care yeah i don't think we didn't order i want to know about china coin Google searches for Bitcoin are on the rise in Cuba. Cuba. Da, 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 I can't do the. Uh, I I know I know what it sounds like, but I can't do the the Cuba music uh, Hispanic thing. Because I actually hear it, used to hear it a lot when I was a kid too. Because we also had Hispanics in our neighborhood too, so we always heard the I always heard the Spanish music. Keep with their Bitcoin has other major digital payment options like PayPal are available. Oh, that's actually a good point. Keep with price seeking influx of Bitcoin like this. Bitcoin is on the rise. This is why cryptocurrency is really good. I actually should probably tweet this out. Uh, I'm actually going to tweet this out because I haven't been really active on the 100 coin or speed coin or whatever. So let me make sure. Uh, now let's do 100 coin. Um, let's make sure. 
This is why cryptocurrency is so important. I spelled cryptocurrency wrong. Currency is so important. Cuba is now exploring and using uh, Bitcoin as PayPal and other payment systems are not available to its people. Uh, BTC. See, this is this is like this is a really good way to not only like like I'm really surprised <clears throat> that the elites that truly control the Western society just don't see the threat of cryptocurrency. Uh, I, fi I find that really surprising and, well, it's still somewhat suspicious, but I think maybe they just have their hands full with Trump <laughs> and us Trump voters and conservatives in general. So, all right, I tweeted that out. Um, yes. Uh, well, we tweet there. All right, good enough. All right. Uh, here we go. According to data from Google Trends, Cuba now ranks second in terms of Bitcoin over the past 30 days. The island nation of Nigeria. Nigeria is an island nation? I thought they were in the middle of like, I thought they were on the coast or in the middle of Africa. Which has remained as the top country searcher of Bitcoin Google since April 2020. The rest of Google's top five areas searches for Bitcoin are African countries of South Africa, Cameroon, and Ghana. Interesting. Cuba's rise in Bitcoin really started to come comes amid reports that Cuba's increase of the terror of Bitcoin is certainly say imposed by the U.S. and gaining access to blah, blah, blah. I thought we lifted the uh, sanctions uh, or something like that. At least Obama did, right? And then, I don't know, I haven't really, I don't remember what Trump did with those sanctions. Like, I know he said some stuff, but I didn't think he really cared. As major digital payment firms like <clears throat> PayPal and Stripe are reportedly not available for Cubans, Coronavirus drivers have made local payments even more complicated. Oh yeah, because no one's no one is. I know. We, oh, maybe that's what it is. Like we still have some sanctions, but we allow people to go back and forth to Cuba uninhibited, or I guess with some kind of restrictions or tracking. I'm not sure about like businesses and stuff. But yeah. Um, yeah, less people, less tourists, foreigners coming to Cuba. That means less money changing hands. Yeah, that actually makes sense. In late October, a local programmer, YouTuber Eric Garcia, called on the nation to use Bitcoin for cross-border business. Claim that anyone who wants to send payments to the island should buy Bitcoin send it through a Cuban crypto exchange called Bit Bit Remasis. Bit Remasis. Yeah, I got. It's gotta sound in Spanish though. Bit Remasis. Bit Ramasis. We don't have access to payment platforms like Visa, Mastercard, PayPal, Unipay, and Stripe. We do not have access to any, to any of those. Real what has allowed us to dream see other scenarios? Blockchain, Bitcoin. Yeah, exactly. This is exact. Like this is why censorship is such a big problem. <clears throat> All right. So Cuba is going though for different reasons, obviously, because you know obviously this dates back many decades, mostly the Cold War, Cuban Missile Crisis, and all that crap. Right, but still censorship nonetheless. So, April 2020, Italian Cuban, uh, Cuba's first exchange of Bitcoin, Cubita. According to Mozilla, a new exchange agent allowed Cuba to buy and sell Bitcoin's major sort of like low and packs are not accessible in the country. And it's decentralized. Uh, I'm just reading the bottom. It says Cuba's first peer to peer Bitcoin exchange launches amid regulatory uncertainty. Well, it's Cuba, so I don't know. I'm actually thinking I want to use this. The problem is because it's in Cuba and it's basically decentralized and unregulated, like that might actually piss off <laughs> the US government. I definitely know I should probably make it, uh, um, where is it? Makes them nervous. But I mean, you could still do money laundering anyway, even with all the regulated, regulated stuff if you know how to do it right. Uh, <clears throat> uh, develop the ability. One taking the lead. I'm sure September 20th, at 35 years old. I'm sure to do a new development. Yeah, it's actually about the kilo that I'm asking for you for uh, because of the wireless legal is not helping people at the time. So, no, no, okay. The number of registered down shot from 1100 from 1150 to 30. Okay. Uh, yeah, like they like, uh, like Christians will teach. When you're suffering, and the more you suffer, the more likely you'll cry out to God. So, 
and the, as the, as the Cubans continue, well, the Cubans have always been suffering quite a bit, so they're, they're definitely motivated to find new solutions. So it's just a matter of creativity and IQ and, you know, how much they really want it kind of thing. So, but good for Cuba. Good for Cuba. I like it. Besides, I think, let's see, the guy in charge, it's not, I know it's not Fidel because he died a while ago. So it's his brother. Who controls Cuba today? I think it's uh, Raul or something like that. Or, uh, Miguel Canel gave her the council on April 19, 2018, take over for Raul. Oh, okay. Raul Castro has step, uh, stepped out. It's been really since the. <clears throat> okay. Who rules Cuba now? Okay. Yeah, so Cuba is definitely uh, democratizing themselves, which is going to be funny because, you know, all the degenerate, I uh, got to be careful here, all the degenerate stuff that we tend to do here in America, we're going to start exporting it to Cuba and turn them into uh, pods too. That'll, that, that'll be funny. And the sad part is Cubans are going to be desperate, so they'll probably just take whatever aid they can and worry about the rest later. So I guess I could not have picked a better time to, you know, get back into the game now that I finally have some kind of vehicle from which I can actually build something with. China, China's digital yuan pilot type process. 300 mil so far according to China Bank. China's digital China coin pilot is picking up speed. Uh, are we talking? Okay, so it's so far, not in a day. The government of China central bank is giving more detail about the current tree's ongoing China coin pilot. Yi Gang, uh, almost like Yang Gang, governor of PBOC, we'll just call it China Bank, said that the uh, said that the digital yuan pots processed over four mil transactions a day, totally more than two billion yuan, two million million. Official delivery his latest remarks as Hong Kong FinTech Weeks and other duty. Going to the pipes have been going smoothly so far, having rolled out for extended testing and forcing so, yeah, growth in demand for digital and contactless payment market among the already. Uh, they try to juggle users with security with convenience. We should have to have some key event where commercial bank charge ability, customer manager, rest PBOC, and launched the first pause refer to digital yuan in April 2020. Uh, Shenzhen, Chengdu, Suzhen, Zhang, you know, even though I'm Chinese, I have no idea what any of these mean or where the hell they are. I only know where Fuzhou is because that's where my mom and dad originally are from in uh, China. Which actually is interesting because I thought, <clears throat> Fuzhou, China, I think I spelt the thing. Um... Uh, oh, that's a pretty nice thing. Let's see. So how far away is it from Japan? So there's Japan. Uh, where is Manchuria? So Manchuria is up here, right? Yeah, I mean, I have to kind of assume in a way that like my ancestors, like specifically mom and dad and their parents and their grandparents, had to kind of lee, uh, flee this coast and move further inward. Uh, let's see. Also, where are the Muslims being held? So I think it's... I know it should be somewhere around the western part of China. Uh, man, I, can't rem I can't remember. Actually, I have a good idea. Where... Yeah, Fujian. So yeah, so this is where my ancestors were originally. When I say ancestors, I mean like a couple of generations before me. So yeah, they definitely had to flee the Japanese during World War II. For sure. I'm trying to figure out where would be the uh, detainment camps uh, for the Muslims here. I'm trying to figure out where it is. Is it up here? I thought it was somewhere in the west, but... <clears throat> oh, so here's Nanjing. Fujian's further south. <clears throat> okay, so maybe they did not have to flee, but it would probably be a, would have been a good idea for them to do so. Yeah, Hefe, Jing. So here's Nanjing where the massacres occurred. Yeah, okay. So anyway, oh, one other thing while we're still here is um, mostly cloudy, 20 degrees Celsius. Uh, I'm going to say that's around 70 degrees. Celsius to Fahrenheit. 
You know, the reason why I like the word Celsius is also it's a lot easier to calculate. 68. So I was really close. It's 68. I said 70 because it's a nice round number. I don't want to do it, but I was going to say, if you typed in a search for Catholic, for a Christian church in China, you'll find many search results in Google Maps. So there's just to make sure we don't start World War III because, you know, idiots are still promulgating anti-China hate. Even though, like, you know, now that I'm starting to begin, I'm starting to actually believe J Jesse Lee Peterson when he says there's no such thing as racism. It's just good and evil. Like, I'm actually beginning to understand that now. Um, whatchamacallit, uh, you know, it's not just Christian churches. It's a specific type of CIA-operated, that's what I believe, and that's what Andre Wang of the Daily Wire.su believes. It's just a CIA op just to piss off the government and just do actual, uh, you know, sedition and treason and all this shit. So, you know, it's not they're going after Christians, it's that they're going after uh, traitors, all right? Which is something I wish our fucking government did, which I know Trump is trying to do, but everyone's against them, so... Yeah, but that's why we're going to re-elect them tomorrow and then, you know, go from there. The problem was reportedly expanded in Night City. Oh, program. Did I say problem? I'm pretty sure I said program. Uh, Hong Kong, Macau. Okay. Oh, Hong Kong, Hong Kong will be a big one. Re-elector in China Bank announced that the digital yuan laws process went to 2 million China between April and August 2020. have already become perfect for the launch of China coin. Huawei recently announced that its new smartphone, Mate 40, will... <laughs> Mate 40... Will feature a wall for the currency and allow users to interact even when they're offline. Okay, so China, so China Coin's already out there. So once China Coin is an out in full force and it looks like it's actually working very well, which it should, because it's blockchain is actually pretty easy. Like once you actually get everything up and running, it's like very static. It's very logic based. It has zero trust required. So it's just like the same shit over and over again. You know, like James C Coin. As long as we don't change the source code. This will always be this, right? Just like a U.S. dollar will always be a U.S. dollar. That's why this stuff is so good, so potent, so powerful. And I'm glad to see that 100 coin continues to gain strength. Speed coin, I mean, until speed coin gets a little more supply, it's just going to kind of linger here. But, I mean, for the most part, you know, crypto, like crypto is really good. Uh, let's see. I mean, chances are we'll probably use this. Uh, it's more colorful uh, but this is very very important so once china coin you know uh, picks up speed right does does a lot more then everybody else will copy china and be like yeah we got to compete against china so we got to create our own coin right like the big daddy will be when america coin comes out <clears throat> i'm hoping if things are what i think should be trending right trump gets reelected tomorrow you know, we'll do the typical, they'll do the typical political stuff. He'll get everything back in order, or at least some kind of order. The economy will be kind of, and then, I know Trump has been aggressively going after the lockdowns, which is good. And he's planning to fire Dr. Fauci and all the health officials, basically all the traitors. So we're going to have a very good second term Trump. Uh, so they should uh, kind of get back to normal eventually, except in Democrat areas, so... Uh, but for the most part, yeah. So if America Coin and everybody else creates their own digital cur uh, currency, then that should just like we have we should have more than enough factors for Bitcoin to just skyrocket to astronomically unbelievable levels, 500k, one million dollars, two million. Uh, though I think a good target could also be 250k. I personally do not want 250k. That's just too low. But on the other hand, the numbers also are so large that, like, um, how many Bitcoins are out there? 18.53 mil. Uh, 18.53123. So this is 249 billion dollars. Uh, we're going to have to go to, to WebCal for this. Actually, why am I doing that? Web Calc 2.0. All right. Um, what? Okay. I really want to figure out how how they calculate their advertising bypass. Brave for this. 
Dang, he must make so much money off of this. But it's a good calculator, so... Uh, yeah, actually, I should really, really recheck my math here. All right, so this is a million dollars. So Bitcoin will be worth $18.53 trillion. That's actually believable, actually. If everyone starts using crypto and all the governments of the world are creating their own national cryptocurrencies, America coin, French coin, Portugal coin, China coin. And there you do, and then the Forex market does six to twelve uh, trillion dollars per day. Right? Per day. Six so basically thirty-three to sixty-six thirty-three to sixty-six percent of this number. All right. Bitcoin has to go up this much in order to accommodate all the crazy, you know, forex traffic and bank and JP Morgan coins out too. So there so all the big banks are also shifting to crypto. So yeah, actually mathematically it's actually very doable. But the safe bet would be 250k, which would suck because I might become a millionaire if I do. I'm only going to have at most like a couple million dollars. I know, just a couple million, but you have to factor in taxes. Um how when can I sell? That's the other thing too, right? If I sell and I'm still living here in New York City, that's a problem, right? I lose five to ten percent automatically. I want to avoid that. Like five to ten percent of like two million dollars is a hundred grand to two hundred two hundred thousand dollars. Like that's basically a down payment on a house, right? So, and I'm probably gonna need that because I still want to buy an apartment building because I need to secure my assets and never worry about money ever again. I was on the track to do that, but of course. The 2017 crypto bull run had to run its course. So, you know, I only got to enjoy it for one year before it crashed in December 2017, January 2018. So that's, that's just how it goes. Anyway, I'm sorry to get a headache. Uh, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from. Or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right side of this page so we can continue growing this channel. Uh, BitChute's been doing pretty good too. Um, just want to check to see 386. So yeah, people have been actually been watching this stuff. Yeah, it's kind of weird. BitChute has like 68 views and jumps to 94. I have 85 and jump from 20. I, mean, I, I have no idea, but oh, whatever. Either way, BitChute, I definitely uh, am making more effort to use BitChute because I still like BitChute. I just hate having to deal with the technical problems of it, you know, because, again, like, time is valuable. So, anyway, I will see you all next Tuesday. So, go out and vote. Vote for Trump, especially because, you know, I want us to make money. All right. I want these lockdowns to end. Stupid asshole masks are also bullshit, too. I've been listening to a lot of Nick Fuentes, but, you know, I mean, I live, like, like here in New York City, it's just different. Like everybody just gets very scary. Like like legit. Like don't touch me. Don't get near me. Like it's it's not like well I'm on an ego trip. Or it's like I don't know. It's like when people legit get scared because they feel like physically threatened. You know, I, I don't want people to like you know fucking kill me. You know, or call the cops and then get me shot by the big stupid cops. Though in New York City, like our cops are actually a lot better trained than a lot of other departments. But, you know, why do you want to attempt fate? But I do want to resist the stupid masks. So, I don't know. I'll have to come up with something. Or maybe not. Anyway, go out and vote for Trump so we can end this dumb bullshit. We can get back on track. And more importantly, we can turbocharge um, the cryptocurrency stuff. I mean, I assume the Democrats and the tribe that control the West will, of course, still try to tank the economy. But, I mean, that's just how it goes. So, uh, that's our thumbnail. So, I'll see you all next Tuesday. Thanks for watching, and always remember, Johnson Chan, JFC Coin, 100 Coin, Speed Coin. There's our thumbnail. Um, let's see. Today's November 2nd, so I can't release my game until November 16th. So I'll probably wait until then to really go over it. Uh, maybe I might do a separate video on that too. Um, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. I think we'll just just keep it low key. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see.